Welcome back to the channel guys and in today's step-by-step -step blender tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a basketball in blender. I've made a few balls so far So we've had a tennis ball. We've had a soccer ball and now we're doing the basketball So keep watching I want to go step-by-step -step, and this will also include the materials and the lighting So let's make this ball in blender. So let's jump into a new blender scene We're gonna select our default cube and we're gonna go over into our edit mode and with all of this selected, we're going to right click and go subdivide. And let's go to our subdivision tab here and give it five cuts on the subdivision. Let's close this. And then we're going to go shift, alt and S. And that is going to give us the ability to round this out. So shift, alt and S and then left click. And now we have this, but we need to turn one quarter of it into the ball and then we'll use the mirror modifier. So we're going to come here in the first front orthographic. We're going to press K. And that's going to give us the cut tool. I'm going to come here to the middle and work our way up on this first line. And at about this point here, we're going to left click. And then we're going to go to the next vertex up. And then we're going to follow across the square to the next vertex. And then up till we reach this vertex over here. And we're going to press enter. So now you can see this is what we have running along here to this edge here. Now to not have to do that everywhere, let's just select these verts here and press delete. And let's grab these ones here, X and then delete vertices. Then go to your top orthographic and select the ones at the back and then go X and delete the vertices. Then go to your modifiers and let's give this a mirror modifier and let's enable all the axes and also enable clipping. So now you can see we have this same pattern running all the way along here and we don't have to go here with the cut tool and do it for every corner. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go to our edge select and select this edge holding and shift, go all the way to this end here. So we have this little segment here selected. And then holding in shift and alt, we're gonna left click on this edge and this edge like so. So these are the ones you should have active. Then you're gonna quickly go back into object mode. You're gonna to come to the drop down on the mirror and apply. Then tab back in and now all of these should be selected like so. And that makes it easier. So we don't have to go now and select it all again. And if these active, we are going to go control B or command B to create a bevel. And let's make it about this big and then just left click. You're going to come here to the bevel options and let's come to the segments and give that four segments. And then let's drop this down. And what we're going to do is we're going to come here and go control minus or command minus to shrink the selection till we only have the single edge in the middle here. And then we're going to go alt S and scale that in along the normal. So alt S and scale that one in along the normals. And let's go to our materials. By default, this is gonna have a material, let's call it ball. Let's come to the viewport display. Let's make that orange. Let's go up and let's go create a new material, go new. And let's call this trim. And with this edge still here selected, we're gonna go control plus just once to grow the selection. And then we're gonna to come to this trim and we're gonna go assign. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to your viewport display and make that one black so we can see it's been applied. Then you can tab back out and now you're gonna to go to your modifiers and give this a subdivision surface modifier like so. And you're gonna to come to the drop down and you're gonna apply. Then you're gonna tab into edit mode and you're gonna press A to select everything. And then you can go shift alt S and you're gonna round this out again like so. And unfortunately that has made it so we've lost that um, inset that we did there, but let's just quickly go shift alt left click and just select all of these middle edges running here in the middle. Like so, it's pretty easy. So shift alt, let's just select all these middle ones. So there we selected them. And let's enable proportional editing. And let's go alt S and let's just scale that in along the normals like so. And let's tab back out, right click and go shade smooth. And now that is looking a lot more natural and we have a little bit of a bevel running in on a kind of like it's inset a little bit around the bevel. Let's give this a subdivision surface modifier again. And now this is really looking like a basketball. Another thing you can do, tab into edit mode and just go to your vertex select and select these guys in the middle like so. And then with your proportional editing still enabled, you can go S, Z and just scale it up on the Z a little bit just to make it not as sharp. So something like that. And that's looking a lot better. So now we have our basketball modeled and we have our placeholder materials added. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go G, Z and move it up. And let's also just scale it down a bit and then bring it down 
and set it on the floor. Then we're gonna go Shift A, we're gonna add in a plane and scale it up. And then let's select our camera, go into camera view. And you can position your camera wherever you want. I'm gonna place mine about here. I might rotate it a little bit. So camera placement is completely up to you. And I'm gonna select my ball and just rotate it so it has a nice position. Let's go to our, our render engine and make it cycles. And under the render, let's set the max samples to 50. And let's go shift A, let's add in an area light and put it above our ball. And let's give that a strength of 120. And let's go Z and go rendered. And if you go control B, you can drag over your ball in the camera view just to limit the render to the camera. And now we can select our ball, make sure to save. I'm gonna save it to my desktop. And then we're gonna to go to our shading workspace and make sure you're in your camera view and you're looking at the rendered mode. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we go to our materials tab and get the ball material. Let's go shift A, search, and let's get a Veroni texture. So we're gonna get a Veroni texture. Let's plug the color into the base color. Let's change it from F1 to smooth F1. And let's grab the vector here and drag it. And let's type in texture coordinate. And let's make that generated. And let's go shift A, search and get a mapping and place it over here. And then let's come to the scale here on all of these and let's make that 50 for now. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and go shift A search and get a color ramp node and place it on here. And let's zoom into our ball. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this first value and drag it up. And we're gonna make this more on a lighter value. Then we're gonna go plus and create another little slider here. And this one, we're gonna make that darker on value. Then we're gonna go plus again, create another one. This one is gonna be lighter in value. And then we're gonna create another slider. Let's bring it about here. And this one, we're gonna make that darker. And what we're creating is kind of like this pattern you see over here, like this. And what we're gonna do is we're now going to grab this. We're gonna go Shift A search and get another color ramp. Let's place this one in here. And then we're gonna grab this value here. We're gonna make it lighter. Let's make it orange. So kind of like a saturated kind of orange, like this. Then we're gonna grab this value here, drag it down, and let's make that a more saturated, lighter orange, like this. So just play around with it till you get it just right. So something like this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this color from the color ramp and plug it into the roughness. Then we're gonna go Shift A, search and get a bump node. Place it over here and let's take that color input, put it in here. So the color output into the input of the height. And let's put this normal into the normal of the principled. And let's take the strength and make it 0.3. Or maybe even a little bit lower, something like this. And then let's grab that black trim and let's make the base color black. Now we have a ball, so let's select our floor. Let's give that a material and make it black. And you can come here, bring the roughness down a bit and bring down the specular. And now we have a ball here, so I'm just going to go Control B and drag over the camera view. I might zoom the camera a little bit more in. And obviously the, you can add some nicer lighting, so I'm just gonna duplicate the light a few times, add some nice rim lighting maybe add a bit of a fill light over here, pointing towards the ball. You guys can mess around with it all you want, but here we have our basic basketball in Blender. So let's go ahead and save, and let's go render and render the image. And here we have it guys, this is the completed basketball in Blender. I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial.